Two days ago, NASA released data that changes everything we thought we knew about the edge of our solar system. Voyager 1 and 2, the spacecraft you watched launch in 1977, have discovered something that shouldn't exist, an invisible wall, hotter than the surface of most stars, waiting at the boundary between our sun's domain and the void beyond. And here's what's keeping NASA scientists awake at night. They have no idea why it's there. Welcome back. You remember September 5th, 1977, Voyager 1 roared off the launch pad at Cape Canaveral with a mission to visit Jupiter and Saturn that was 48 years ago. The spacecraft was designed to last five years. It's still transmitting 15.8 billion miles from home, moving at 38,000 miles per hour through a region of space no human-made object has ever explored. But what it found there defies explanation. Between 2012 and 2018, both Voyagers crossed the heliopause, the official boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. At that precise moment, their instruments recorded something extraordinary, temperatures spiking to 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin. That's 50,000 to 90,000 degrees Fahrenheit. For context, the surface of our sun, 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This invisible barrier is five times hotter, and yet Voyager sailed right through it, completely undamaged. How is that possible? The answer reveals something profound about the nature of space itself. Here's where it gets fascinating. Temperature in space doesn't work like temperature on Earth. Down here, heat means crowded molecules bouncing frantically, transferring energy. Touch a hot stove and billions of molecules slam into your skin. But at the heliopause, the particle density is almost zero, a few atoms per cubic centimeter. Yes, those particles are moving at incredible speeds. That's what creates the extreme temperature reading, but there are so few of them that they can't transfer meaningful heat. It's like being in an oven with only three molecules technically scorching, practically harmless, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory confirmed this in their December report. The extreme energy recorded at the boundary does not threaten the probes due to near vacuum conditions. But here's the real mystery. Why does this wall exist at all? The prevailing theory goes like this. Our sun blasts out a constant stream of charged particles, the solar wind, traveling at a million miles per hour. For billions of miles, this wind dominates everything in its path, but eventually it runs into something equally powerful, the interstellar medium. Gas and plasma from ancient supernovae, remnants of dead stars, material that's been drifting through the galaxy for eons. When these two forces collide, they create a shock wave. The solar wind slams on the brakes. All that kinetic energy has to go somewhere. It converts to heat. Extreme heat, that's your 50,000 Kelvin wall. But there's something else Voyager discovered, something that challenges everything we thought about the structure of our cosmic neighborhood. Scientists expected the magnetic field to flip dramatically at the heliopause. Inside our solar system, magnetic field lines run in one direction, shaped by our sun. Outside, in interstellar space, they should point completely differently, shaped by the galactic magnetic field. Voyager 1 crossed. The field stayed aligned. Voyager 2 crossed six years later at a different location thousands of miles away. Same result, the field lines matched. According to NASA's 2019 JPL report, this was completely unexpected. It suggests the boundary between solar space and interstellar space isn't a wall. It's permeable, a membrane. Things leak through, particles escape, cosmic rays enter, the heliopause breathes. And here's the part that should give you chills. The heliopause moves. It expands and contracts with the sun's 11-year activity cycle. When our star is active, the bubble grows. When it's quiet, the bubble shrinks. The wall isn't fixed, it's alive. Voyager 2 crossed at a 119 AU, Voyager 1 at 121 AU. The difference? Solar cycle timing. The boundary had shifted between their crossings. And in November 2026, Voyager 1 will reach a milestone no spacecraft has ever achieved, one that puts all of this in perspective. One light day, that's 16 billion miles, the distance where light itself takes 24 hours to make the journey. When Mission Control sends a command to Voyager 1 after November 2026, they'll wait 48 hours for a response, one day for the signal to arrive, one day for the answer to return. The spacecraft you watched launch when Jimmy Carter was president will be so far away that even traveling at the speed of light, conversation becomes impossible. Susie Dodd, Voyager project manager at JPL said it best. That kind of intergenerational effort on Voyager is really rewarding to see. I love these spacecraft. They're ambassadors for us here on Earth. Ambassadors carrying a golden record, Chuck Berry, Bach, greetings in 55 languages, images of Earth, just in case someone out there, millions of years from now, finds them drifting through the dark. So here's my question for you. That 50,000 Kelvin wall, 
Do you think it's a natural boundary or could it serve another purpose we haven't discovered yet? Some scientists suggest it might act as a shield, protecting emerging solar systems from the harshest cosmic radiation. Others think there might be thousands of these boundaries throughout the galaxy, bubbles within bubbles, each star creating its own. Write your theory in the comments. And if you were on the Voyager team in 1977, watching those rockets lift off, tell us did you ever imagine they'd still be talking to us 48 years later? Thank you for watching. Until next time.